This is a response to Noel Plum's video, which itself was a response to a question posed by Fractal Machine about what would it take for him to change a position, or for anyone to change their position from being an atheist to a theist, or vice versa. I'm going to start with sort of a short answer, and it may sound somewhat facetious, but it's an honest answer because I actually do think that it does come into play in terms of how some people change their beliefs. And that is to say that I would change my position from being an atheist to being a theist if I saw sort of a systematic violation of natural law, or at least a sufficient repeated violation of natural law, especially in my favor. I think that would be pretty persuasive. I imagine that I'm a pretty cold-blooded rationalist, but having miracles happen to my advantage consistently would be quite persuasive for me, and I probably would see more advantages in believing at that point than in not believing. The problem with this, and that is the description of those circumstances, and that is that my perception, repeated perception of violations of natural law in my favor also goes by the name of experiencing a psychotic break. And so to some extent, I guess what I'm saying is that if I were to experience a psychotic break, then I could very likely end up believing in God. I don't know whether that's helpful, but I think that that's actually a reasonable answer. The more serious answer, and I think it's probably a more useful one broadly, and that is that there are lots of people who have actually changed their positions about belief, and so a guide as to what might change my position would be to look at what has changed the position of other atheists. And what I have read about, and what I hear about, and what's been recorded in a number of places is that atheists often change their beliefs as a result of very, very strong personal psychological experiences, short of psychotic breaks. And that is that when people experience severe grief or even transcendent joy, it leads them to reassess their worldview and to sometimes change a fundamental belief that they hold. And this actually happens in both directions. People forsake atheism in favor of theism because of tragedy in their life, and likewise people forsake believing for non-belief for similar reasons. And so, again, if the question is not a disingenuous one and not just a facade for asking for yet another argument for the existence or non-existence of God, I would have to say that the most likely way for me to change my belief from being an atheist, my position from being an atheist, would be to experience something in my life that was so emotionally overwhelming that I would find it hard to continue living while adhering to my old values and my old analysis. So, I mean, I don't think I'm immune. I don't think, I don't know, maybe it's hard for me to say. I imagine there are people who think that their beliefs are unshakable, but I guess it really depends upon the depth of the experience and the necessity of adopting a new point of view in order to maintain one's sanity in the world. I don't see this as likely for me, especially given my age and the fact that I've already undergone an enormous amount of, or enormous variety of emotional upheavals in my life. Anyway, I think that that's an honest answer to your question, and that is that in either direction, that is that people change their beliefs often based on psychological necessity and not as a matter of persuasion. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you, counsel. The case will be submitted.